Welcome, welcome to Name Hero. I'm Ryan, the founder and CEO. In today's video, I want to teach you how to add users to your cPanel account so they can log in independently from your root password. So here at Name Hero, we provide high-speed cloud web hosting solutions from individuals to small businesses of all shapes and sizes. And oftentimes, you need to add an extra login to your account. And so in this video, I want to show you how to securely do it. And also, I'll explain a little bit as the reason why. So first off, let me show you the accounts I'm talking about. If I scroll down here, you'll see our web hosting account packages right here, our starter through Business Cloud. Um, and just a brief you know, highlight, you know, each of these packages are tailored around you know, what specific resources you need. Um, our most popular by far is our Turbo Cloud package, and that's because it allows for unlimited websites. Um, you know, even if you're just looking for web hosting for a single site, you might find the need you know, in the future to add an extra website. And with the new user manager that I'm going to show you, you're able to add multiple people to your account. So this way, if you're setting up, let's say you're using your account for a business website, and let's say you need to set up a personal website for whatever reason. You know, maybe you've got a personal blog, or you know, I know me, I've got a, a wife, and you know, she's got her own websites, and she's got a couple of websites that, of course, we manage here at Name Hero. And this way, you could allow, or you know, I could allow her to access just her website and not all the websites in my account. Um, so this is an easy way to do it, and this keeps you from having to password share. You know, if you have you know one master account, you know, which is in charge of every website in there, you know, if you're especially hiring a developer or a third party, you'd want to make sure they're isolated just to what they need to be into. And you can also expire those credentials. So let's say you know you have a web designer that's coming in to set up something, or maybe a WordPress developer and they're only going to be doing work for like a month for you. Well, they don't need to have your master login, and certainly you wouldn't want them to have access more than any longer than they need it. So I'll show you how to do it. It's super simple to set up, um, and it can be securely done inside of our interface. So to get us started, I'm going to go up here and click Account, and I'm going to log in. So I've got my demo at Name Hero Account. Password here, log in. I've got two-factor, which you should too, because that keeps your account safe and secure with us here at Name Hero. So enter my two-factor from my device and log right in. Okay, so here's my dashboard. Now I am in my demo account, so I've got several services, but we're gonna do we're gonna work on key diets today. So let's just type in key. It's got our starter cloud package. I'll click here. Okay, so now you can see here's our main dashboard for this service. I'm gonna go inside of cPanel now. Log into cPanel. And cPanel, this is what powers the back end of my website, the back end of my account. This is how I add my email addresses, my FTP, and I can go to my file manager, I can install WordPress, I can back up everything. Everything's handled inside of cPanel. And so if I look over here to the left, you're going to see uh, Manage Team. And this is where it's um, controlled. Now you can also search up here. You know, if you want to do Manage Team, you'll see it here. And finally, it's also at the bottom of your screen here. So you can see Manage Team down here. So whichever way you want to get to it, there's three different ways. Uh, but just in case, you have things set up a little bit differently inside of your cPanel. Okay, so in here, you can see first off, we've got a big warning. This feature grants access to account level functionality. Only grant this permission to users you trust and manage your account. All right, so it's a big one. You know, if you're going to let them in, you obviously have to trust the person that you're going to let in. Don't just go, you know, create someone an account just to create an account. Um, on this one here, we can create a, a total of seven max users. We've used none, so keep be mindful of that. There's also an audit log, so you can see who logged in and when. Um, what I have to do is click this Create Team User, and you can see I can set it up. So first off, by default, it's going to be at you know whatever your main domain is. It's kind of the um, you know account that's going to be the master. So I'm just going to put in here my name, Ryan Gray. And again, just pretending I'm setting this up for a third party. This will automatically set them a strong password. You know, I recommend it unless you just know off the top of your head or you want to make sure you get it um, you know to them. Um, you know, maybe you're messaging them on Slack or whatever. But if you are going to set it yourself, please use this and generate a secure one. You can see this is a, a nice strong password. Um, the most, the best thing you can do for your account security is use a hard password that's not used over and over again. That's the whole purpose of this is to add security to your account. So please do use this generate button because it, then that way you know it's safe and secure, and you can also you know make it even stronger if you'd like. 
Um, but, you know, using a, a common word or a birth date or something, that never works. That's always the first thing an attacker is going to use. So this one looks pretty good. So I'm going to just copy this down. I'm going to make a note of my other screen here so I don't lose it. Um, I'm going to use my I am at ryangray.com. It's my personal email. So this would be whatever email address that this user would have um, because, of course, you could send them an email as well. Um, there's a couple roles here. So they have full administrator. You know, this would be assigned to like, you know, someone that's a, maybe a business partner, um, you know, someone that's going to have access to a lot of stuff, um, just the database, just the email or just the web services. So you, you're going to pick out of this list, you know, the role you want them to have. Uh, I'm just going to do administrator. You know, I'm just going to pretend like I'm adding a, another admin to my account, you know, and that's the highest level. So that's going to have all the features. If I click show features, I can see everything it's going to have access to. Administrators, everything. If I scroll on down here, I can see like database role, you know, just the stuff pertaining to the databases. Emails, just the stuff pertaining to the emails. Web, just the stuff pertaining to like your very basic stuff, you know, like PHP, you know, site publisher, you know, just the very basic stuff. Um, but be mindful of those roles um, and only assign, you know, what the person needs specifically. Um, of course, you have to say, all right, I read it. You know, I'm giving you the warning and it also makes you click it again. And that way, you know, you know, once you grant them permission, they're going to have access to all these features immediately. You can add any notes you want. Ryan Stoin Web Design for me. And then we can go to services. So of course, you know, email if we wanted to disable that, you know, so they could not have any. Or in, I mean, it's automatically disabled if you want to enable it. This will create them an email address. So like Ryan Gray at Key Diets, this would create it for me. Um, I'm going to disable that because I don't want one. An FTP account, um, you know, this would give them access to like to have their own FTP account into the service. Um, I don't really suggest doing that, you know, unless you specifically know why you're going to do that. And um, this would give them like a home, their own home directory. I'm not going to do that either. Security settings. So the, here's the big one. You know, you can set it to expire um, or just say that ne this account never expires. So again, if they're doing web development, you'd probably want to set like an expiration, you know. And so just in case I forget to turn this off today before I publish this video and this password goes out, I'll just go ahead and set it. Today's the 25th. I'll set it to expire tomorrow. Um, and expire reason is Ryan YouTube video. There we go. All right. Now I'm going to create it. Okay, so now my account is created. So to show you how someone would log into this now, I'm going to log out of cPanel. So let's log out. And so if I go up here in my browser, you're going to see node 307.namehero.net and then colon 2083. You can do that. Just go to like slash cPanel. And this is the address you'd give them to log into your account, so that cPanel account. Um, if you have your domain pointed, you could also, also go like yourdomain.com slash cPanel and that will redirect it here as well. But now if I type in Ryan Gray at keydiets.com and use that password, you can see it lets me in. And now this user has access you know, to the account. So they've got all the full access. You remember I did administrator. Let's allow this cookie warning. Um, to the full administrator and they can see everything that you can see. But the good news is, is you've got the master control panel on your side. So if I wanted to, you know, delete Ryan or stop Ryan from accessing it, I, I certainly could. You can also see that expiration date is set inside of here. So after the 26th, then this user, I can no longer log in using this. Um, this is a new feature. This is just added like literally in the last five, six days. Um, they've been beta testing this for a while over at cPanel. But this is all based on community feedback. So, you know, if you have feedback, continue to send that along so we can get that pushed out to cPanel. Um, so, you know, they're listening, and that's always a great thing. And I love to see ongoing development of applications. Nothing worse than a control panel or a piece of software that stops development. So this is super nice, nice feature to have. Um, I know a lot of our audience currently using Name Hero is going to be happy to have this um, to be able to assign these additional permissions. And, you know, that way that um, you know, only you have root access to your account, but then you can add other members to your account when it's needed. And you're not having to go back and forth with passwords and stuff like that. If you have any questions, feel free to let us know. I um, mean, you know, our support team standing by 365 days a year. Uh, it's every single day. 24-7. Um, so if you ever have anything come up any time of the night, feel free to ask. If this video helped you out, I always appreciate a thumbs up on it. You know, that just indicates to me like, hey, this video really helped um, other people out and you produce more content around this. 
If you're not subscribed to our YouTube channel, I certainly suggest you do so. Go ahead and mash that subscribe button in there. When you subscribe to our videos, you'll be the first to know that when new content comes out. We also um, you know, highlight sales. Uh, Black Friday, Cyber Monday, it's already around the corner again for the year in 2023 here. So um, we've got some really exclusive discounts coming out in a couple months. So go ahead and subscribe to our channel so you'll be the first to know, you know when that sale goes live and all the details behind it. Um, but I hope this video did help you out. Again, this is a long-awaited feature. Really glad to have this out live and pushed on all of our servers. Again, if you have any questions on setting up additional users, feel free to ask. Our team would be more than happy to help walk you through or you know, iron out any fine details that you may have. But thanks so much for watching and using us here at NameHero.com.